Hi guys, on the weekend I like to get away from contests if I want to try and work, say, at parks on the air. You know, contests can get very busy during the weekend. Now, personally, I quite like contests, but sometimes getting away from them is a good thing. But of course, we've got the walk bands, and at the moment we can use 17 and 12 metres fairly reliably, can't we, for SSB contacts. So I've come up with an antenna design, and I've tried it out, and it works. I'm going to show you all about it. That does very, very well, and I'm going to show you what it looks like, how to build it, and how well it works. So stay tuned. So the antenna itself is a dual band antenna, uh, no radials required because it's a half wave fed with an end fed half wave transformer at the bottom. So it's basically a full half wave for 12 meters and then you've got a bit of a loading coil which I'll tell you all about in a minute and then a shorter bit of wire at the top for 17 meters. Now here are the dimensions for my antenna with a slight caveat in that those dimensions may well change for you depending on the type of transformer that you use. Now, as you can see the total length comes in comfortably under 6 meters so it's a, a nice a fairly compact antenna that will still work very well for you. As you can see from the drawing, we need a coil there. Now that coil has two functions. It chokes off 12 meters by providing something called inductive reactants. What it also does is then act as a loading coil for 17 meters, provides inductive loading. So the coil has two main functions and it means that the antenna is slightly shorter than normal for 17 meters, maybe 75% the size of a, um, a full size halfway for 17 meters, but it's still nonetheless pretty efficient. So you can see there we've got a value of 21 microhenries for that coil and you're thinking well, why 21 microhenries? Well we're doing a certain degree of inductance in that coil to, to enable the coil to act as a choke on that higher frequency, in this case the lower wire for 12 meters. Now as a rule of thumb we should probably aim at around 3000 ohms impedance for that coil to act as an effective choke for the wire below it, the, the higher frequency. And how we calculate that uh, 3000 ohms is uh, is pretty simple actually. Uh, there is a, com a slightly complicated formula but as a rule of thumb what you can do is if you use the imperial way of working out uh, half wavelength on the frequency you want to choke off or the band you want to choke off then what you do is calculate the approximate half wavelength of frequency to be choked in feet and uh, what that means in this case is that if we're aiming for, for say the 12 meter band then we're going to be looking at 468 divided by 24.945, which is kind of a center frequency for us. That gives us 18.7, 18.7 microhenries. Now, I came to a figure of 21 here because I, I was basically experimenting, as you do at home, with a 21 microhenry coil I'd made before, and it worked well. So you could probably get away with a slightly uh, less inductive coil. And actually, that would get me slightly, lead you to slightly lengthen the wire above the coil for 17 meters. But to, to be honest with you, it, it won't make much of a difference. Here's a handy table for you. We've got the frequencies on the left. And, and along the top, you've got the different level of inductive reactants. So in this case, in red there, you can see for 12 meters, you need about 19 microhenries or so. Um, but those are sort of the minimum amounts that you need to get, say, two, three, four, or 5,000 uh, ohms of, of inductive reactants. But in this case, um, for the for the 12 meter band, 19, 20, 21 microhenries should be pretty sufficient. How then do we calculate how much wire we need and how big the coil needs to be to create the inductance that we require for the coil? Well, there's a very good calculator and I'll put the link below in the description area for you for this. As you can see here from this screenshot, uh, what we do is basically choose our uh, form of measurement. I've chosen centimeters single layer coil which means basically you've just got one coil with wire going around it which most of us will use and then uh, you then put in the amount of turns the diameter now the diameter as it says it depends on the diameter of the former used that's the pipe used for example the pvc pipe and that of the wire itself so you uh, work out the diameter of your wire you uh, got to use it twice of course because it goes on the, the top and the bottom of the coil sequentially Add that to the former diameter of your of your pipe, and then uh, yeah, that's it. And then you've got then your actual diameter. And once you know that, then what you can then do is play around with the length. And the length, of course, is the gap between the two holes that you'd use to, uh, or, or the two bits where the the wire joins the former, and that would then be your your calculation. As you can see there, when you press calculate, then it gives you inductance at the bottom. I got twenty point nine microhenries. And that, that gives you an idea about the type of wire I used and also the gap between the uh, the amount of gap I had between the, the start and the end of the coil. So there we are. It's In this case, we've got about, uh, what have we got there? We've got 35 turns, 3.36 uh, uh, centimetre diameter, 
and at five uh, five centimeters in terms of the length of the of the actual coil itself. Now tuning. Now tuning is can be done in a, a pretty simple way. Now my advice for tuning would be to first of all uh, measure a half wavelength or slightly longer for the higher frequency. In this case, it'd be twelve meters. And what you then do is ensure that the, 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 the wire, the lower wire, is attached already to the loading coil that you're going to use. In terms of the overall length of the antenna, you may find if you're using, say, a 49 to 1 or a 64 to 1, I used a 56 to 1, that the length might be different. So the, the numbers we had at the start of the video don't see those as being completely gospel to the overall length of the antenna. However, they'll be in that sort of ballpark. But I would independently cut that wire as a half wave for 12, make sure the coil is attached. If you want to have the, the wire already attached to the top of the coil as well uh, for 17, you can do so. Focus initially on the 12 meter band, get that right. And then what you do is carefully, and I mean carefully, then trim the top wire because one or two centimeters can shift the, uh, the frequency up by a couple of hundred kilohertz very easily. So be careful with that. And you'll probably find you'll come up with a measurement for your antenna, which will be fairly fairly close to the, the, the one I, I actually come up with for my design. So uh, I set the antenna up at home, put it up on my uh, my test bed, my dilapidated old uh, fiberglass pole. I put the 56 to 1 about a metre above the ground, three foot above the ground, and uh, got some good SWR plots. So that was, was promising. And the next step, of course, then had to be to take her out into the field and give her a test. Now, I didn't go out on the weekend. I had a Wednesday morning free. I uh, got there about lunchtime to my local uh, favourite spot, set her up, and we gave her a go. So here we are. We're checking out the antenna. We're going to put it up today. It's a 12 and centimetre N-fed half wave on a beautiful late morning, early afternoon on a weekday here in, on the south coast. Uh, this is the antenna we're going to do for 12 and centimetres to see whether or not it will work for us on a contest weekend where we get away from all that on the walk bands. Right, let's uh, get her up and get on the air. CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air, on 12 metres, Golf 5, Tango, Mike. Thank you. Uh, stateside Whiskey, go ahead. G5 TM, calling CQ Poto and standing by. Quebec. Okay, Tim, very, very good. Uh, G5 TM, this is B380 here, about 5 and 7, 5 and 6 to 5 and 7 this morning. Uh, QRZ? Sugar Mike 3, November, radio reactor. Uh, QRZ? Sugar Mike 8, Okay, a couple of stations, X Ray Romeo, stateside, make a call. Kilo, Kilo 6, Bravo, Tango. Okay, Tango standby. There was another station, another kilo, I think, from the from from America. X-ray Romeo, please go again. So overall, a really nice antenna. Uh, it did the job. Got me on two bands, and very happy with it. Uh, some DX contacts in a time of day that wasn't really conducive. It was still quite early in the morning over in the states. But we made some stateside contacts, um, North American contacts on both 12 and 17 all happy with that. So we've got a compact antenna, you put it on a six meter fiberglass pole, take it out with you, pota, sota, put it up in the back garden, lower impact antenna, no radials required, just run the coax back to your operating position, 100 watts, no problems at all, very happy indeed. Hey, thanks for watching, good to have you on board again for another video, and we'll catch you for another one soon. You take care now, bye bye.